This is a common taping technique that we'll use with our pregnant patients. This can help provide a little bit more support throughout their abdomen and also take pressure off the low back. I start by applying the tape in the center of the belly, wrapping up around the belly and over to the hips. It's best if you round the corners so that the tape can adhere properly. With this mom specifically, she was having a pulling sensation on her right hand side. So I cut the tape to kind of look like a jellyfish with three longer tabs on it. I applied the tape over the area that was giving her some discomfort and each strand of that tape wrapped up and around. Same thing, make sure that you round the edges. This specific style I like to use over areas that I feel like could use more blood flow. Also remember to test out the tape over a smaller area in case you have allergic reaction. Zach is an elite powerlifter who came to me with left knee pain when squatting that was not getting better with rest, foam rolling, or anything else he was trying. Now we tested his hip internal rotation. You can see his right hip's pretty good, but his left hip was limited. Now we started with a banded joint mobilization, pulling the knee in, relaxing the hip, the band is pulling laterally. He then drove the knee out to the side and squeezed his glute for a couple seconds. He did this back and forth five to six times, and then we retested his hip mobility. Now, you're going to be able to see right here that his hip mobility was much improved after that banded joint mobilization. We then did touchdown single leg squats to help re-coordinate the lower body. This is something that is great for anyone dealing with knee pain after addressing mobility issues. This helped him get back under the bar and squat again heavy, completely pain-free with the 775-pound squat. So he's doing awesome. Great work, Zach. What's the difference between naproxen, Aleve or Naproxen, and ibuprofen, Advil or Motrin? They're all NSAIDs. Naproxen, you take twice a day. So ibuprofen can be taken three times a day. Naproxen, higher GI upset. Which one do you take? Have you ever seen people with bright colored tape on their knees? Does that actually work? Your knee's mostly a hinge joint. It likes to flex and extend. So when it rotates, especially with force or impact, that's when injuries often happen. For minor ligament or meniscus injuries, if you hinge that knee very carefully with little or no rotation, it might not hurt and it might even heal up on its own. Tape manufacturers, they make all kinds of crazy claims about the benefits of taping, but the real benefit, maybe, is that it draws your attention to that area so you might move more carefully with better alignment. <laughs> محتوى اللي كان قدم محتوى نقي كان ضرب عليه تامة ربش نطلع الفيديو. Your joints are not that fragile. They are a lot stronger than you think they can be. You just have not trained them properly yet. Parkour. Let's go.